guys, welcome to my contour line drawing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a little background on types of line drawings, set you up for a couple different practice drawings to do in class, and go through the steps of the final project, which is a contour still life painting. The word contour is a French word meaning outline. It's a type of drawing technique that focuses on capturing the edges of a subject. The purpose is to show mass and volume in 3D space rather than focusing on details and shading. Using the element of line, the artist captures the length, width, and height of the subject. Contour drawing is a great foundation for painting and drawing in the art world. The point is to capture the life, action, or expression of a subject. That is why I have chosen a still life as the genre and flowers as the subject of our lesson. Flowers are notorious for having many folds, creases, overlap, and edges. They might be a challenging subject, but also very rewarding if you focus and practice. There are several different types of line drawings, and I'd like to familiarize you with a few of those. The first one is the blind contour drawing, where you don't actually look at uh, your paper. So the point of this isn't to make a realistic artwork, but to strengthen the connection between your eyes, hand, and brain. Here's an example of a blind contour drawing. This was used as a warm-up for students. Another type of line drawing is a gesture drawing. This is usually a speed exercise, so drawing very quickly. And here's an example by Rembrandt, famous Dutch artist from the 1500s. Uh, here's another example of a gestural figure drawing. Notice how certain lines appear darker than others, and then you'll notice different thicknesses of lines were used to create some detail and shading and depth. There are also continuous line drawings. We'll actually be doing that for our final project. We'll be combining the gestural technique and the continuous line. A continuous line just means that you never pick up your paper from the pencil. So the unbroken line is the key to this. Um, this helps avoid temptation of erasing or being indecisive as you draw. Here are some examples of continuous line drawings. Contour drawings, again, uh, this is the outline or shape or edges of the subject. Note that the purpose of a contour drawing is to emphasize the mass and volume of the subject rather than details. So it's capturing 3D space using 2D medium. Some exercises for that uh, would just be sketches of just the outlines, some creases of the subject. Cross contour drawing is a way to further explore 3D space. Uh, cross contour just means showing the direction of the lines across a form. And you'll notice in the hands here, you can use curving lines to create the illusion of space or depth. The cool thing about these contour drawings here, cross contour drawings, is the way that the artists have used the weight of the line to simulate form. So in the picture with the hands, these dark thick lines show form by creating shadows around the edges of the hands and then in the center are thicker white lines uh, which are highlights to show the areas where space or the subject is moving towards you, where it's shaded with black, uh, the picture is moving away from you. This is a really cool student artwork that I wanted to show you guys. So this is an example where a student used many repeating circular lines um, and then filled that in with uh, a value scale of light to dark to create this really cool image of a dinosaur. We're going to be using the blind contour drawing technique as a warm-up in our sketchbooks for this project. 
you are going to be drawing your partner and your partner is going to be drawing you. So I want you guys to have your sketchbooks open in front of you and you're going to keep one hand on the pencil and the other hand on your sketchbook to hold it in place and then you're going to turn at a slight angle so that you can see your partner and they can see you. And during this whole time, you're going to keep your eyes on your partner and you're not going to look down at your paper, no matter what. I'm going to be using a mirror to do a self-portrait contour, blind contour drawing. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to pick a starting point and I'm not looking down at my paper at all, which means I really need to focus on the movement of my hand and kind of finishing an area maybe before I move on to another and maybe retracing my steps. I just look down a tiny bit. It's hard not to. I might even go off the paper. I haven't even gotten to the details of my face yet so this should be really interesting. Don't expect this to look very good at all. I don't even know if my eyeballs are going to be in my eyeballs anymore by the time I get done with this. Alright, let's see how this came out. What do you think? How do I look? So the fun part is when you and your partner are done, you can go ahead and see how these came out. The key is, remember, go slow and really concentrate. So you will spend a few minutes on this. And look at that loveliness. Look at that. But notice, I've achieved the point of the exercise. So look at those contours. I've got an outline of my head. I've got outlines of all the details. And I really focused on the line work here. Okay, and just so you guys don't think that I'm making this up, that this is a thing that artists do, and also, just so you don't feel bad about how your drawings come out, I just wanted to show you these are some examples of blind contour drawings. Just Google image these. As you can see, it's a struggle for everybody. Okay? Not just you guys. Gotta love that face right there. Oh yeah. Alright, so you guys are going to head back to your seats and we're either going to do this in the sketchbooks or on some copy paper. Go ahead and get with your partner. Uh, go slow and concentrate. Try to keep your pencil on the paper the whole time and don't look down at your paper. And then when you guys are done, you can compare and do a little analysis and decide. Did you capture the essence of your partner? And did your partner capture any uh, resemblance of you? Alright, I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you in the next video. This website is really cool because it shows you a selection of line drawings from some famous artists and other professional artists. So if you take a look at this first one here, Pablo Picasso, what is the subject of his drawing? What different types of line drawings do you think he's using? What types of lines do you see? We have Andy Warhol. What would you say about the use of line in his drawings? David Hockney. How would you describe these lines? What type of line drawing do you think this was? Vincent van Gogh. Leonardo da Vinci. What's the subject of his work here? Aaron Early. What effect has the artist achieved here? And what type of contour drawing did he use? 
a drawing by Peter Root. This is many, many pencil lines layered together to create this image. What type of movement do you see? Maurizio Anzari, how do you think the artist created this image? Torn wing. Can you guys tell the subject of this painting? Carolina Cummings. How would you describe this artwork? Daniel Mathers. What type of line was used? What effect was created? Roz McQuillan, some Siamese cats. Wang Zhu Ting. I really like this one by Andy Mercer. Can you guys tell what he's used the lines to create? What do you guys think about this one? What about this? These are line drawings depicting hair in a very realistic manner.